caught up with Benjamin Stein on a book signing tour in Berlin. A computer specialist and management consultant, Stein adheres to the laws of the Torah. Now he's written a novel that's as suspenseful as it is complex. Die Leinwand, which means the canvas, can be read from the front or the back. What inspired the idea? It was an artistic challenge to write a novel in which it doesn't matter which storyline comes first, which is read first. My method assumes that there are at least as many truths as there are storytellers. It's a completely different book, depending on which narrative thread you read first. Let's start with the story of Jan Wechsler, a journalist whose life has many parallels with the author's own. Born in East Berlin, he first discovered his religious roots at age 14 and quickly discovered how hard it is to be a Jew in East Germany, which he calls the little country. In the little country, being Jewish was the ultimate kind of being different. When I discovered God at the end of my sporting career, I didn't tell anyone. My grandparents were die-hard communists. After returning from exile, they occupied important positions in the state apparatus. They'd never entered a synagogue, in part because Marx said religion was the opiate of the masses. And because in the little country there were just three kinds of Jews, gassed, incarcerated after show trials, or in exile, and people preferred not to find themselves in any of these categories. We accompany Benjamin Stein to one of the scenes featured in his book. His protagonist, Jan Wechsler, visits the synagogue in Western Berlin after the fall of the wall. Benjamin Stein also came here in those days. He had mixed feelings about the large synagogue in Eastern Berlin and refused to ever go back there. As I later found out, the Jewish community was probably the most closely monitored religious community in East Germany. A large part of the community's board of directors were official informers for the East German Secret Service, the Stasi. So my fears weren't just neurotic, but also well-founded. Stein's literary alter ego enters West Berlin for the first time at the former border crossing at the Oberbaum Bridge. In the confusion that followed the fall of the wall, Jan Wechsler is initially unable to return. He's surprised to feel a longing for a homeland he'd never really felt at home in. This is one of the passages that's autobiographical. I can recall those two hours vividly. I've never felt as shut out, even later in life, as I did then. But read the novel the other way around and you enter the world of the second protagonist, Amnon Sichroni. He's a Jewish psychoanalyst who encourages a traumatized patient to put his memories of the Shoah to paper. These Holocaust memoirs are published and become a bestseller. Here's where the protagonist's lives become intertwined. Journalist Jan Wechsler reveals that the patient's concentration camp autobiography is a fake. The ensuing scandal eventually touches the lives of all the characters. The story was inspired by a real-life case in which the victim had unconsciously transferred his psychological trauma to the Holocaust. Benjamin Stein was haunted by this story. For me, the historical truth is not the relevant thing. The suffering is real, no matter where it comes from. That was what interested me personally. In this novel, there are multiple truths. Benjamin Stein poses big questions such as who are we if we can't trust our own memories? And what defines Jewish identity today, 65 years after the end of the Holocaust? My approach is to look for things that constructively promote identity. My own personal decision was a religious one. For me, Jewish identity is primarily connected to religious tradition. 
It's a completely different approach from defining oneself through the Holocaust or Zionism. In Stein's novel, these extremes clash. His protagonists literally meet up for a showdown in the middle of the book. Like a canvas that's painted over and over, Die Leinwand reveals many layers of truth and is thrilling and funny to boot.